So another uh, shovel head video, right? I'm gonna be putting the entire top end back on to my chopper. And um, just wanted to do some videos on the way. So I only use the James gaskets. And um, this is the kit number here that I use and have been very, very successful. Um, come with the metal gaskets, rubber, and um, the base gaskets are really good, especially on these shovels because right here is right where they always blow out. There's an oil passage that goes from the heads down into the cylinders and then is cross drilled, but it's drilled all the way through. And if you put the paper ones in, you're lucky to get a year and maybe two and they blow out right here but you get these metal coated ones and i had my uh, previous set in this bike for at least um at least a good 10 years or more um the other thing is really good with the james gaskets is the head gasket and this is the one with the wire ring in this kit so you never blow a head gasket i i've never blown a head gasket uh, as long as I'm using these. In fact, I've never blown a head gasket because I torque them. That's the other thing. But this is that oil return hole where it comes out of the head and um, goes down through there. So I just want to take these apart. I already just gave them a quick assembly. But these are, um, these are 12, uh, 1340 heads. And with the split rocker boxes... As you can see, I cut them. So that way I'm not seeing that extra gasket that I don't need. The other thing that you have to do, well it is that you're, anytime you do these, and is you have to, when you're putting the rocker boxes on a shovel, is turn them upside down. Because what can happen is this can get on the wrong side of the spring and, and uh, it can get past the actual valve and can trip you up. So it's really important to uh, get it and put them on upside down and they'll stay here and you don't have to worry about that. One, a few little other things on these split rocker boxes. So normally what happens, this is the uh, front head so the, uh, the crossover normally comes into right here, into this head, right? These were a stock set of heads and you take a 5 8 mil bit through them. I have another video online of explaining how to split rocker boxes, but then you have to have it welded up here. Now, normally these heads have a crossover from here internally. They're connected for oil. And so you have to weld all these up. You have to weld here, you have to weld there, and you have to weld there. And then I took an eighth inch pipe tap, MP, eighth inch MPT tapered pipe tap. And I just drilled that out and you could, hopefully you could see down in there. Let's see. I drilled down the whole way through it and it drills you right into the um, rocker arm shaft, right where oil would normally come in. And, if, and um, then I drilled it for the eighth inch pipe, but I didn't go all the way through the head with eighth inch pipe. I think I went eighth inch standard drill bit and then went with the MPT size drill, but not all the way through. So I hope this isn't too confusing. <laughs> it was, it was, geez, 15, 16 years ago that I did these. So if you just take them upside down, and I hold the gasket and I slip the rocker box on and then do the same thing with the other. I put it in the proper position. Oh. And then I slip it on and there you go. So these are ready to be bolted. Now, these nuts, they have lock washers on them or they use a lock nut, one or the other. But I found with Harley is, I don't care what I'm working on, there's always gonna be some Loctite. 
Uh, if it's got a lock nut, even if it's got a nylock uh, locking nut or what have you, I always put some Loctite on. Now, I don't go crazy with it in case I got to get it off on the side of the road. I don't want to be going too crazy, but I do want some on there. So, if you see, bring it a little closer. I just have a little on each one. Okay. Now, I put, put my lock washers on. And uh, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. I know everybody on Facebook says that, but it is, um, I, I only have under 100 subscribes, subscribers, so I'm not making any money, but please comment. I try to get back to everybody that comments because I don't have that many people on there, so I do try and get back to people if they have questions and help out. And, and that's truly, at the end of the day, what these uh, videos are about. It's just helping out anybody that's unfamiliar and you know I, I there's a lot on there I don't remember it all off the top of my head so it's a good way to document what it is I'm doing so that you know for myself or my kids down the road anyway I, uh, I do this and then I just torque them and and I go right in the manual it says right here rocker cover nuts 12 to 15 foot pounds. I torque it up. I have it set at 13 and a half foot pounds. And then I just go in a cross pattern. There's nothing special about this. I just bring them up lightly. Not go crazy. And then I just try to go crisscross. Anytime I torque, and you should always go back over everything, no matter what. Always go over your torque. Just make sure to write. And that's it. The This is a short video. I'll just do the same for the other boxes. And um, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming of assembling the uh, top end. And uh, thanks for checking it out.